Ever tried to quit smoking and failed? You're not alone. Millions across the globe have tried to kick this habit, often more than once, and have stumbled along the way. It's a daunting statistic, but it's important to remember that quitting smoking isn't a one-time event. It's a journey. It's about persistence, resilience, and the will to keep going, even when the road gets tough. And that's what this video is all about. We're here to guide you through that journey, to help you navigate the ups and downs, the cravings, and the setbacks. We'll explore the nature of nicotine addiction, how to prepare for quitting, what to expect on the day you quit and beyond, and the strategies to stay smoke free. This won't be an easy journey, but it's certainly one worth undertaking. After all, your health and well-being are on the line. Ready to embark on your journey to quit smoking? Let's get started. The first step to quitting smoking is understanding the addiction. Let's dive into the nitty-gritty of nicotine addiction. It's a complex beast, not simply a bad habit, but a powerful dependency that's deeply rooted in your brain's chemistry. When you smoke, nicotine is rapidly absorbed into your bloodstream, swiftly reaching your brain. It then stimulates the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that generates feelings of pleasure and reward. This is the high that smokers often describe. But here's the catch. Once the dopamine levels drop, the craving for another cigarette kicks in. This is the vicious cycle of addiction. Your brain has now been rewired to associate smoking with pleasure and reward, and it wants more. And just like that, you're caught in the nicotine trap. But what happens when you decide to quit? Well, when your brain is deprived of nicotine, it retaliates. This is what we call withdrawal. It's your brain's way of shouting, hey, where's my nicotine fix? Withdrawal symptoms vary from person to person. Some people experience intense cravings, irritability, difficulty concentrating, or even physical symptoms like headaches and fatigue. And here's the tricky part. These withdrawal symptoms can make quitting smoking feel like climbing Mount Everest without any gear. It's tough, and it's easy to slip back into the comfort of smoking to alleviate these symptoms. This is why quitting cold turkey often fails. Your brain is wired to seek relief from discomfort, and for a smoker, that relief is often found in a cigarette. But remember, every cigarette you smoke reinforces your addiction. It's like adding another lock to your nicotine prison. The good news? Just as your brain has learned to crave nicotine, it can also learn to live without it. It won't be easy, and it won't happen overnight. But with time, patience, and determination, you can rewire your brain and break free from the nicotine trap. Understanding your addiction is the first key to overcoming it. Now that you understand your addiction, it's time to prepare to quit. Picture this, you're about to start a challenging hike. You wouldn't just put on your shoes and start walking, would you? No, you'd plan. You'd check the weather, pack the right gear, and ensure you're physically ready. Quitting smoking is no different. First, set a quit date. This is a tangible, concrete goal. It marks the day you're taking back control. It's not just any day, it's your day. It should be soon enough to maintain your motivation, but far enough to give you time to prepare. Some people find it helpful to choose a date with personal significance, a birthday, an anniversary, or a public holiday, for example. Next, tell your friends and family about your decision. Their support is invaluable. They can be there for you in moments of weakness and celebrate your victories with you. If you're comfortable, share your quit date with them too. It can add an extra layer of accountability. Now let's talk about nicotine replacement therapy and medication. These are tools, not crutches. They can help manage withdrawal symptoms and cravings. Nicotine replacement therapies such as patches, gum or lozenges provide a low level of nicotine to ease the transition. Medications like varenicline or bupropion work in different ways to reduce cravings and withdrawal symptoms. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional to find the best option for you. Lastly, prepare mentally. Remind yourself of why you're quitting. Visualize yourself as a non-smoker. Imagine the benefits healthier skin, better lung capacity, more energy, and of course, the money you'll save. Preparation is crucial. Once you're prepared, you're ready to quit. This isn't just about quitting smoking. It's about reclaiming your life, your health, and your future. And you're not alone. We're here with you every step of the way. The quit day has arrived. It's time to put your plan into action. This day is a significant milestone on your journey to becoming smoke-free. It's the day you've been preparing for the day you decide to take control of your life and health. 
So let's roll up our sleeves and discuss some strategies to make this day and the days that follow a success. First, let's start with your immediate surroundings. Get rid of all tobacco products. Yes, all of them. This includes cigarettes, lighters, ashtrays, everything. Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. Make your environment a safe space that supports your decision to quit. Next, stay busy. This is crucial. You might be surprised to know that boredom can be a potent trigger for cravings. Fill your day with activities that you enjoy and that keep your mind engaged. This could be anything from reading a book, going for a walk, or even learning a new hobby. The key here is diversion. Speaking of cravings, they're going to come and that's okay. It's a normal part of the process, but you're not helpless against them. Use distraction techniques. When a craving hits, immediately switch your attention to something else. Deep breathing exercises can also be a powerful tool. They help reduce stress and keep your mind focused. Now let's talk about your body. Staying physically active is a fantastic way to combat cravings and withdrawal symptoms. Plus, it boosts your mood and energy levels. Pair this with a healthy diet and you're setting yourself up for success. Feed your body with the nutrients it needs to heal and recover from the effects of smoking. Remember the journey to a smoke-free life is a marathon, not a sprint. There will be tough days, but every day you stay smoke-free is a victory. Celebrate those victories, no matter how small they may seem. Quitting smoking isn't easy, but with the right strategies, you can make it through. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out for support when you need it and never lose sight of why you decided to quit in the first place. You've got this. Scene script. Congratulations on quitting smoking. Now, the challenge is to stay smoke-free. The journey doesn't end once the last cigarette is extinguished. It's a continuous path of self-improvement and perseverance. To stay smoke-free, one must learn to navigate their life without the crutch of nicotine. A crucial part of this journey is understanding and avoiding triggers that might tempt you to light up again. These triggers could be anything from a stressful situation to a familiar routine or even a specific person. Recognize these triggers and have a plan to deal with them without resorting to smoking. Stress, for instance, is a common trigger for many. Instead of reaching for a cigarette when stress levels rise, consider alternatives. Perhaps a brisk walk around the block, deep breathing exercises, or even a quick chat with a friend could be the stress-relieving solution. It's about finding healthy and effective ways to manage stress that don't involve lighting up a cigarette. But why is it so crucial to stay smoke-free? The benefits are extensive and reach far beyond the immediate health improvements. Over time, you'll notice an increase in energy improved sense of taste and smell, and a decrease in the risk of serious health issues like heart disease and cancer. Not to mention your wallet will thank you too. However, staying smoke-free isn't just about reaping the benefits, it's also about avoiding the dangers of a single slip-up. One might think that just one cigarette won't hurt, but it can easily lead to a full-blown relapse. Remember, you've worked hard to get this far. Don't let a moment of weakness undo all your progress. Staying smoke-free is a lifelong commitment, but the benefits are well worth it. Your health, your loved ones, and even your future self will thank you for your efforts. So keep going, stay strong, and remember, every smoke-free day is a victory. So let's recap what we've learned about quitting smoking. We started by understanding the addiction. Smoking is more than just a habit. It's a physical and emotional dependency. Acknowledging this is the first step towards freedom. Next, we discussed the importance of preparing to quit. This involves setting a quit date, identifying triggers, and getting the necessary support. It's not just about willpower, it's about having a plan. Then, we delved into strategies for quit day and beyond. We talked about the importance of staying active, using nicotine replacement therapies, and maintaining a positive mindset. Remember, each day without a cigarette is a victory. Finally, we explored how to stay smoke-free in the long term. It's about creating a new, healthier lifestyle and finding ways to manage stress that don't involve lighting up. Remember, quitting smoking is a journey, not a one-time event. But with the right strategies, you can quit smoking forever. Good luck on your journey.